So after a slight tactical change, we have finally started ridding games again. Hello and welcome to part 5 of Flight to the Prem with British Airways and in today's episode we've got two matches coming up for you. One against MSC at home, then the second match of the Ray fixture against London Colony. I think I think that's what we're going to be. London Colony. I think that's how you're going to pronounce it. So, form since the last episode, we started off pretty rotten where we did lose five games on the trot. So, which wasn't good at all. Then it came to January. Then I was thinking we've got to switch things up. So, as you can see, I did go to a 4 2 3 1. Obviously, ditched that after one game after our attacking midfielder got injured in his first game for the club, which we'll get to in a minute. Then we uh, switched back to the 4-4-2, a different tactical style, which we'll get onto later. Then we won our first match in January, 4-2 against Mosey. Then we went back to losing. Then we won against Spartan Shoe, 4-2. Then we lost again. You see the pattern here. Then we did thrash Hillington Borough, 8-4 with um, Elliot Sartorius, who is our new striker, or attacking mid. He can play pretty much anywhere in those uh, positions preferably I, I think he's a I think he's a better striker than he is an attacking mid because in the last game against Hillingdon Borough he did score three goals two assists so I reckon he's probably a striker anyway about it uh, we did sign him from Gray's Athletic is it Gray's Athletic is it yes Gray's Athletic who we signed him on a free transfer so far his start has been absolutely amazing Yes, the three goals to assist came in one game, but we're not going to worry about that. But hopefully, um, hopefully he doesn't get injured again because um, he's quite a good striker and advanced forward. So my kind of striker, that's what we've been really looking for because we have most of our players that are really poachers and target forwards. They're not really my kind of striker. I'm, I'm okay with poachers, not target forwards. I don't think we've signed anyone else since the last episode. Actually, I'm lying. Yes, we have. Um, we've signed two other people. One of them being Tom Colton, who is a English goalkeeper. Three and a half stars of current ability. Leading goalkeeper for our league. Unlikely to improve, but I, that's not going to worry me because I don't think we're going to get promoted this year. We're not going to get a playoff spot anyway. Uh, we signed him from Cleveland Town on a free transfer previously. A player experience at Barnet, which he did make one league appearance in League 2 and started off his career at Arsenal, so not a bad place to start. Then, last but not least, is Joe Conkleton. He is a 33-year-old English left mid. He can also play centre-back. We've been using him there for quite some games, but primarily he is a left mid. Three stars of co ability. Good. Well, is it him? Well, it says he's four and a half stars here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to believe. I think he is three stars. I'm not sure why that's different to what it says. I, I don't don't really know at the moment. But um, anyway, he's uh, coming from Basildon Town on loan for the rest of this season. Hopefully, unless he gets recalled. Hopefully, he shouldn't. But we'll see about that. But I think that's. I think that's pretty much all the transfers done. I don't think I don't think we'll sign any more players because um as you can see we are over our wage budget just by fifty-eight pair pounds, so not too bad. And the league table currently looks like this. We are down in twelfth, which is not a bad place to be, which is where the boards want us to finish, so not too bad. Um hang on. What's this? In the unlikely event we would be so, from what I'm reading here, so if we avoid relegation, they're going to keep me in the job. I think that's what it means, yeah. I think so. Yes, because if we get relegated, they will sack me. If we stay up, stay in the league, they'll keep me. I think that's how it's going to go. If that doesn't happen by the end of this season, um, yeah, we've got a decision to make. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, so let's get a crack get cracking with our first league game of the episode against Eversley. So as you can see, we are playing a, a tiki tacker tactical style. Was play wing play, but moved to tiki tacker just felt like it was a 
working a bit better. Then we've got so the lineup will be Colton and goal. A back fourth, Duncliffe, Umber, Conkleton. Not really a centre back, but Charman is suspended. If he wasn't suspended, he'd probably be playing. Then we've got Pike as left back. Moore and Sickney as the two wingers. McLaren and Butler in the midfield. Then we've got Sartorius and McDonald up front. Come on, lads. Let's get a win. MSC are just below us. If Even if they win, they're not going to go above us because our, our goal difference is absolutely beautiful. It's like, I don't know what it is, um, five. There's this negative two, so they might, they might go above us if they score like three, four goals. But hopefully that doesn't happen more. Does have the ball. McDonald was in the air, but just can't get his head onto it. McDonald has another chance. It's a corner ball. If we can get an early goal. If we, British Airways, can get the first goal of the game, which doesn't happen very often, that'd be absolutely brilliant. That's a poor corner straight to the goalkeeper. You think one of our players will try and get their head on that. Show a little bit more ambition, please, when we have a corner net. Just, just try to attack more. Be a bit more threatening next time, please. Instead of just uh, letting their goalkeeper get to it quite easily, which is what happened there. Colson, Colton, get the ball upfield. Thank you. More that. Oh, he was unlucky. Very unlucky not to get to that. But I'm sure he'll get to it next time. Oh no, that's going to be offside. Oh, he, he missed it anyway. I'm I'm sure he was offside. If there, if we if this was the Premier League, he would definitely be offside. Sartorius with a free kick. McDonald at the back post and puts the ball into the back of the net to make it 1-0 to British Airways. Come on, boys. Yes, let's go. Right, one them up. If we can get... You know what I really love? I don't see this very often, apart from in the last game, where we were like 4-0 up at half-time. Um, I would like a second goal before half-time, please. Sartorius, Sydney. McDonald is offside. How is he offside? Oh, let's see if Signey is offside. We can't even get him. We don't even get shown the replay. Stupid FM. Come on, Duncliff. More. Go on. Oh, come on. Get the second goal here. Oh, hit the crossbar. So close. We are. We are. We're going to get a second goal this, this game, albeit this half. We will definitely get one at some point. Pike, that's... That's a poor pass. That really is. Should be getting it past the defender. Not not good at all, but at least we're still winning. So uh, there was the up the other end of the pitch. So if that was the other end, I'd be a little bit more worried. But fear not. We are still winning at halftime. That's not a bad scoreline. I'll take one now at halftime, at full time. Thank you very much. Right, MC haven't really got going so far. They've only had two shots there on target, but... It's non-league. Anything can happen in this game. Right, I think we'll probably give about 10 more minutes and we'll make our first couple of substitutions. What I have tried to do is not make two subs at once because it just ruins the mentality of the game. McLaren will be the first person to come off. He can come off for Barlow, switch him as a box to box. I think that's, uh, that'll be it for now. Not sure who'll be the next change. Probably Duncliff, maybe one of the strikers possibly. Maybe even more, but I don't think we have a right mid on the bench. That was a good chance for us. I wasn't really concentrating because I was seeing who we have on the bench. We've got Sinclair on the bench. Obviously, he's a right back. Duran is a striker. Lewis James is a uh, centre-back. or such right, preferably he's a centre-back. Not a good one, but he is a centre-back. Sinclair has got the ball. Can he cross it? Can he shoot? Just do something. Come on, get in the box. Butler, goes down. No penalty. But no, again, it's a crossbar. Oh, we're getting so close. At least we're still winning. Come on, lads. Just... Oh, no. Can we defend this corner, please? Can we? Well done, Butler. Only as far as Bainbridge. Can we put some pressure on? Can we clear it? No, we don't. Oh, I was hoping that will go out for a throw. Come on, Barlow. Come on, somebody. Somebody get the block in. Somebody get a tackle in. Well done, Butler. Danger is not over yet. Oh, just... End the highlight, please. I don't want to watch this. Oh, what a save that is from Colton. If that was our other goalkeeper, Hadley, I reckon that probably might have been a goal, but I'm not sure if the header was actually on target. It might have been just off target, but it's the same. Brilliant save, though. All right, come on. Can we get a tackle? Just, just send the highlight. 
Oh, thank you. It's not sorry. Oh, brilliant. That was a long highlight. That I thought there was going to be at least one goal in there, but nope. Um, right, we're going to make some changes. Sartorius is going to come off. No well, but he is um, shattered. Duran is going to come on as the advance forward. He's been playing quite well as the advance forward. Don't ignore the star rating, but he's at, we're training him up to become a advance forward. I think Duncliffe also comes off for sync there. We are on the lookout for another right back, but nothing's um, popped out as, at us. Just yeah, I don't don't feel the need to sign any more players yet unless we unless we really need to like an emergency signing. McDonald plays the ball to Sydney. Come on, you have Pike on the overlapping run. Can you use him? Yes you do. Pike to Butler. Sydney, come on, get in there, Gia Sydney. I I I'm still I'm still not sure how you pronounce this there, so I think we'll go with Gia. It might be Gia. Jish. Gia, I don't, I don't really know what silly name is that. What um, what's wrong with his parents when try and give your child a name that you can actually pronounce? Because it's absolute baffling to me. It really is. Just call him Josh something, something simple. Well done, lads. That was a good win. Very good win. Considering they were like a they were one place below, so should we should have been beating that team, and we did. So thankfully. A good result. 2 0 win. Another clean sheet. That's very good. Very good. When was actually speaking of clean sheets? When was our last clean sheet? Oh god. Have we not had a clean sheet? Spartan Chief. Sixth of September was our last clean sheet. Unless I've missed any any others. No. Wow. That's um that's quite unbelievable. Let's hopefully make it three wins on a trot with a win against London Colony. The lineup for our match against London Colony will be Colton and Goal, a back four of Duncliffe, James, Umber and Charman, Moore and Sydney as the two wingers. Then we've got McLaren and Butler in the midfield, then a strike force of Sartorius and McDonald. As you can see, we have gone for a very defensive mentality, which I'm um, I think is probably right, probably the correct option, because considering London Colony are third in the league, I don't think we've been... I don't, I don't know what the score was the last time we played them. You know what? Let's have a quick check, see what the score was last time we played London Colony. Only a 2-0 defeat, but we weren't playing a different mentality then, and we did have a McLaren was sent off in that game, so I think very defensive should suit us well. It's not the first time we've actually gone very defensive this season with this this um this tactical style. And um, last time we did it, we actually won the game. So who knows? We might win this game on a very defensive tactical style. That's poor. And it's, um, oh, it's poor. Poor from both teams because I thought that would have definitely been 1-0 to the London Colony. But turns out uh, they are pretty rubbish at shooting after all. So not too bad. I'll take that. A uh, coaching whips in the corner for London. I think we we'll just call them London for short. Can't be bothered to try to pronounce their last name. Just call them London C. Come on, lads. Let's beat them. Come on. Right, we still haven't had any shots. So that's the um, that's the main negative about um very defensive. We don't get many shots. When we do, we're gonna have to try and take them. Try and score the score as many as possible when we can. James, get the ball upfield. Just whip the ball upfield. Just don't mess about with it. Just whip the ball upfield. I don't care if it goes out for a goal kick. Just whip the ball upfield. So it's always McDonald trying and get there. I know you're getting on a bit, but just try and get there, please. And don't lose the ball. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, God. Clear it. Well done. More. Now you can do it. The uh, highlights did head, so thank I'm thankful for that. Right, come on, lads. Let's defend this corner. Let's go clear. No, we don't. Jack Jones does head the ball into the back of the net to make it 1-0 to the London C. That's not good at all. Not good, but that is to be expected because they are they are looking quite good. They probably... I don't expect them to go up, but I'm sure they'll finish in the playoff spot because they are like 10 points clear off 7th. That, uh, that was a good chance from whoever took that free kicker. I think it was. Sartorius, if we could get an equaliser before half time, that'd be very good indeed. Sartorius rips in the corner. 
It's poor. It doesn't even find the British Airways head. Absolute rubbish that is. Right. I think we have been unlucky so far. I think we can uh, definitely find at least one guy. We definitely should have another, um, some more shots, please, in the second half. We've had one more. That's good. Right, come on, lads. Right, we'll give about five more minutes and we will make our first couple of substitutions. Come on, lads. Oh, I'll happily take a 1-0 defeat. I'll, I'll, I'll easily take that. A narrow defeat will do us a lot of good. Uh, Butler is going to come off for Conkleton. Uh, I think Duncliffe also comes off for sink there. Again, I think um, <coughs> right back and centre back is like the main area we need to improve on for next season. I, I do plan on having a massive clear out. I haven't given out any new contracts just yet. Actually, I'm lying. I did give Spencer Moore a new contract earlier on in the season. That's pretty much the only player that I think is with us for next year. I might be wrong. I might be right. I really don't know. Speaking of Spencer Moore, he's picked up an injury. Potential groin injury. Hopefully that's not too serious. So what, what do we do here? Well, I think we get on. We're going to try something weird. Right. Put Sartorius there. So you can play as the right winger. He's not very good. Well, yeah, he is very good. So I think we'll do that. Because obviously Sickley's not really a, an attacking uh, winger. So we'll just leave him there. Do a asymmetric system down in non-league. You're not going to see this ever again. I'm, it's just um, we're just going to have to do it. Because we don't have the players to do like 4 2 three, one. Well, badly. But we do. Right, come on, lads. We've got 10 minutes left to play. We're going to drop some encouragement in the hope we can find this equalising goal because anything can happen in non league. We can go on and win this game for all I know. Come on, lads. Five minutes left to play. Can we just get a corner, please? Come on. Be good to us. No, it is a. Well, it's not a bad performance considering we were all very defensive. I wasn't really expecting much more. I think we all. I think we all knew we were going to lose that game, so. A 1-0 defeat, that's... I can take that. I can take some positives out of that. I mean, that's not bad. We did uh, better than we did against them last time. Spencer Moore is out for three to four weeks, so not a serious injury, but I'd rather him not to get injured because we don't... I don't think we have another right... I don't think... Do we have any right mids? We do. We have Ryan Coyle. He's our other right mid. He's not very good. We've also got Harrison. Again, he's not very good either. So, a little bit stuck. Unless we do do that asymmetric system with Sartorius out there. But that's uh, that's a thing for a future Jack to worry about for now. But hopefully Ryan Moore should be back. Uh, Spencer Moore should be back uh, for the next episode. Which, how many games do we have left to play? Okay, we've only got 10 games left to play of the season, so I will see you all in the next episode where we'll be playing our final matches of the season against Langley and Bedfont. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Daily Football Manager videos, and thank you very much for watching.